Good day everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to book an appointment and how difficult it is to book an appointment in applying for Philippine passports. So first you have to go to Google. Um, we're gonna be booking online for a schedule if we can find a spot. So just we will just use Google for now and we will type passport appointment uh, Philippines so we will click, click that one and then just click this is the first one make sure you have all your documents ready and when we arrive to this page we will um, you gonna read and read all and understand all these terms and conditions and you have to click that and if you are booking as a group you can book as a group but if you're just booking for yourself you can click this one and make sure all your informations are correct because if not it's gonna be a delay in processing so we're gonna be in this one so at the moment it is very difficult to get a slot available for appointment so the trick is you will have a look and refresh your browser at 9 o'clock in the evening or at 12 o'clock noon Philippine time and if not just keep refreshing and keep going back in and you will finally find an appointment so with the region is Asia Pacific, Philippines, and the site. So we'll just say we are doing it in Cagayan de Oro City. So they already have the address there, auto field. And then we click next. So it says here that there's no available date. So, because all are already booked out. So what I did last time with my brother is I just refresh the screen. refresh and if you get lucky you will get a spot but sometimes it's very difficult or oh, actually that one so at the moment there's no available appointment at the moment so we will try again uh, probably later So there's still no available date so I will just show you what happened when I booked my brother's passport last time so I did get it a, um, a, a date which is uh, the, the nearest date is November 6 so after that I um, put all his information the information that needed it should be in hand when you're doing this because it will take 15 minutes and you will be timed out and you the screen will close or due to inactivity you will be going back to the same page or the home page so you have to have your informations ready so with the informations you have to have is the father's the application the application should be the personal information should be in there like his name date of birth phone number address a father's name middle name mother's maiden name and also the birthday your birthday if you are the one applying for it so you put all your personal information uh, family information which I mentioned your father or parents name the application see what happened this one due to inactivity you will be automatically directed to schedule appointment page so we are being sent back here again and then um, we will just see if there's any so we still have so where are we application information the phone number and everything so after that after you filled all those um, informations you will be sending 
an email or there's a payment section where you can click uh, pay now which you can pay anywhere in the Philippines like Bayad centers like um, easy pay 7-eleven um, I think you can also pay it in uh, Western Union so after I filled all those informations I got an email because I book it for my brother so this is the email that I got so there um, this is not your booking confirmation so you will be confirmed for the booking if you pay your uh, the fees so if you book it um, on um, someone like some some people will ask if they they offer um, appointment and they ask for uh, the fee so don't be fooled by those people or the fixers because they will ask you like around 1000 pesos 700 pesos to, to just book an appointment it's easier but if you book it by yourself just get any luck on getting a slot so you will only pay 950 pesos for 30 days processing and you'll get your pass passport in 30 days or you can get the express one which is 1200 pesos for like 15 days but that will have also 50 pesos additional um, convenience fee it says convenience fee so the total would be 1000 pesos all up and make sure you have all your documents ready when the appointment time comes so with this email um, you will be instructed on how to pay the the fees so you will have this um, view my payment instruction so these are the the part the partners that you will um, pay your uh, passport application fee so a 50 pesos convenience fee will be added so that's where you can pay the Bayad Center, Robinson, 7-Eleven, Easy Pay, or Pirahab, whatever that is in the Philippines, I don't know. So these are the locations where you can pay your processing fee. So it's only 950 or 1000 pesos. So you will get this um, reference number. And if you will go there to Robinson's or 7-Eleven to pay, you will just show your reference number. So after I paid that, because I have a friend who has um, easy pay either you can go directly to buy it centers or you can pay it online to them if you know someone you will just give your reference number and then they will print your receipt I'll just have a look so because she is just our neighbor and she had a buy it center so I just pay it I just asked her if I can pay it online and my brother will send the money to her because they're just um, next street to our house in the Philippines so my brother brought the money to her and then I just did the online the online side so after he paid that I got this email which says the confirmation the passport appointment was confirmed after you paid through easy pay or something because she had a easy pay so she did the processing payment for me uh, the physical money was just sent to her because um, i think she just trusted me because we're just neighbors and we're classmates from high school so that's it um you got the appointment reference number and that was um on november 6 2018 the time the time schedules are just one hour per person so that's only from three o'clock to four o'clock and then after that you will get this after you all paid and confirm for the appointment and then you will have to click this here this section I think this is the form and you will print this on an A4 paper go to your nearest um, internet cafe if you don't have a printer at home and your receipt is also in there so that's your receipt and you will show that to the DFA when you go to your appointment date with all those um, documents signed and requirements so the the appointment date is showing in there the the location the time you should be there 15 to 30 minutes before your scheduled appointment 
make sure you have all your documents ready you can look for the documents that needed in the website itself so it's all in there original and photocopy of your documents um, NSO birth certificates and the important thing is you will print this form with a barcode and receipt on an A4 size paper so you must follow these instructions or else it's gonna be a delay and your appointment will be a waste if you don't follow these instructions so the instructions are all there reminders you're not supposed to wear anything like cover you're supposed to wear th clothes that will cover your shoulders no strapless clothes no oh how much no shorts no skirts you sh should wear shoes and dress up appropriately or else it will be a waste if you go there and you will not be allowed to go in just because you're wearing something that is not allowed so you have all this filled up during your application I think I made a mistake there but that's alright I hope that will not hold the process um, yep you will I think you will have to sign there when you get there and that's all the documents you have to have when you go to your appointment date and also the documents you need like the birth certificates and everything so we will have a look again if there's any available appointment at the moment so where am I there we are let's have a look again we'll try our luck it's very difficult to get an appointment unless you are facing your computer all day and just keep refreshing but if you don't wanna do this hassle it's or it's your own risk to use a fixer that will do your appointment which well you have to pay like a thousand pesos or 700 pesos whatever they are asking for but for sure they, you will get a appointment because I don't I don't know how it works but some fixers already have these dates no wonder we are always fully booked but fixers um, have all these dates already and they're selling it like for I don't know how much but it's a lot but if you just be patient and just wait for any available appointment then you get lucky but if you are in a hurry then I think the best option is a, a fixer but I don't advise that though I don't I don't really trust those people so I think that's it for this video and I hope you learned something I'm sorry if I didn't get any luck this time with um, any available dates but if you have any questions just leave a comment below and if you haven't subscribed press that subscribe button for more and I'll see you again on my next video thank you for watching and good luck goodbye